Hey, I'm Tony King. Welcome to Zerion's Tips. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a basic sales order. I'm gonna walk you through the body, the header, the status, and the totals. You can enter in orders through quick sales order entry here on your home screen, or you can use the main menu on your left-hand side and go to sales order entry. Within quick sales order entry, you can see that I can search for AR orders, bids, and open items. I'm just gonna double click on my name and go into a new sales order. The first screen that I go into is the body screen. There's the body, the header, the totals, and the status screen. On the body screen is where I'm gonna put in my order quantities and my items. I can also override my sell price and my cost, and I could even put in my margin. I'm gonna go here to the header screen where I can put in a customer purchase order number. I can type in the customer release number. The release number is typically like a secondary PO, like maybe for an apartment complex or a high rise building. Maybe they're releasing purchase orders by, by floor. You can also select an ordered by, and that is typically just a name of a person. On the lower left hand side, you've got shipping instructions. These are gonna appear on any printed documents and emailed and faxed. So those will show to the customer, whereas the internal notes on the right-hand side will not show to the customer. These will only be seen in this screen here. Let's go to the total screen. It's pretty straightforward. It's not in the standard flow for a sales order, but you can go to it at any point. It shows you the totals, cash, check, option, sales tax, freight. And then on the status screen is where I like to say that we're going to tell the system what to do with it by the status and tell the warehouse staff how to deal with it by the ship via. The statuses will change from open statuses like call when complete, ship when complete to invoiced generations like .001 when it goes to print. On the left hand side of the order entry screen you've got an, uh, the order summary panel there and you can see all of the generations listed on the left. You can also have the PO numbers and release numbers and ordered by fields selected to copy to all shipments. Very worthwhile if you want to make sure that all generations of that order are the same. Another thing that's important in sales order entry is on each of the items you can right click on them and you can go to the appropriate inventory inquiries, whether it's the history ledger or the future ledger. Remember that the history ledger is everything that's happened in the past, and the future ledger is everything that's hopefully gonna happen in the future, not yet printed. You can do that from each item on the sales order entry screen, and then just as well as you can do each item for looking at the availability, you can also, on each screen, for the, under the user tools, you can customize the toolbar by going to user tools and adding different items on each screen for the toolbar there. As you can see with even a basic sales order, there's a lot of functionality within Solar Eclipse. Take it slow, look around, realize that you can do a lot of stuff from the body, the header, the status, and the totals. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out.